Hi, and welcome to Picture Me. Picture Me is a Mac app that allows you to take pictures and magically change the backdrop of that picture into something completely different. Let me show you how it works. I'll share my Mac screen with you and I will launch Picture Me that I just purchased from the App Store. So, launch it. And um, I've done it full screen here. I can double click it. To, this would normally show up this size. If you want to make it full screen, just double tap there uh, and it becomes a full screen app. If you want to really go full screen, you can do it this way and then you even lose the menu bar. So I've got the app open and now I'm ready to start explaining to you what it does. It can actually talk to your camera. So when you take a picture with your camera that's hooked up through a USB cable, the picture will be transferred to uh, Picture Me. Let me show you how that works. I can say take a picture here because my camera is hooked up. I got a Canon uh, camera right there hooked up through a USB cable and it says camera ready and if I click OK it takes a picture and transfers the picture into picture me. This is the picture I just took. Um, as you can see this was taken against a blue backdrop although you see a studio. That's a similar concept we're using in picture me using something called chroma key or green screen. In this case my screen is blue but hey what's in the name. Um, we have now a picture in here and the nice thing that picture me can now do is replace that blue backdrop with something else. Now in order for us to replace it with someone else we first need to figure out what is a backdrop. So it automatically saw that blue is my background color. It could have been green, it could have been white even, if I light it correctly, but it cannot be red because I have skin tones that always contain red and I couldn't be black because you wouldn't see my shirt or my hair. So um, using the right backdrop is important to get the right quality, but I've got a perfectly nice blue uh, backdrop here, so that works. And if I want to change the backdrop into something else now, I can just uh, work with this slider and slide it up somewhere and you can see the backdrop now disappearing and being replaced by those cameras and if I go far enough all of the backdrop will disappear and this is specific for my lighting conditions that I have here and the way I've set up my camera uh, you have to play around with those to get them perfect in some cases you might have to do some preserve highlights or preserve shadows um, but it's always possible to get something that looks almost perfect on your screen. Notice that I also have a circle around my face. That's because Picture Me does face recognition. So it knows where on a picture there are faces and preserves the eyes because they are white and you could be losing the white if you put a picture against a white backdrop. And the same goes for teeth. Or you could have green or really blue eyes against a green or blue backdrop and they would become transparent and look really scary. So we preserve the eyes just by using these filters here. You could do without but um, normally you'd leave it on. So I've got a picture now I can now say OK. That will take me to the next page because I'm done doing the cutout and there we see the picture on a white background instead of the blue. So it's been taken out of context and placed on the white. And now it's telling me to select one of the built-in backgrounds. And I can do that by selecting, for instance, Amsterdam. And then I'm in Amsterdam. Obviously, I'm cut off here. Because I'm in a studio and my desk is here and I didn't take a picture of all of me. Normally, you would take a picture that would suffice to get the entire frame filled up. You can still solve that here by increasing the scale or by a combination of increasing scale and position. And once you're happy with the result, you can just say save picture and that will save it as a JPEG. And this is the one I just did. And you can see that's a JPEG that you, is ready for you to be put on all your social media or on whatever kind of digital way you want to process this. Or you could even make a print of this. Uh, this is good enough to make a small print, not a huge print, but a small print. If you want to make really big prints or the highest quality prints um, PictureMe Pro provides the same thing but in an unlimited resolution so you can use the full resolution of your camera 
and you can use backdrops that are well even if you like hundreds of megapixels so uh, no limits with the pro version of picture me uh, but less suitable for social media because you have to scale everything down for social media okay so that's the main interface and how it works with a camera now um, because I only have the high up the top part of me I will use the built-in example picture to show you the rest so the example picture is a picture of a girl taken against uh, green curtains and you can see those are not exactly perfectly lit it doesn't have to be completely even green or blue as long as it's consistently a color green uh, or a blue it doesn't have to be the same colors but it does, cannot be green and blue that won't work it has to be green or blue or white never red bright red might work because you can filter out this, the, the background if it's really bright red but it's more likely you come across a white backdrop or if you're lucky you have something green and if it's nice weather outside you have blue with the sky just don't take any clouds into the sky okay the picture has been taken and I can increase the strength here to make sure that I lose the rest of the backdrop it's almost good just a little bit more that's perfect and I have some specks in the white if I want to get rid of those I can just decrease the highlights and they're gone so now I have a perfect cutout with the holes in her hat even intact so I can say okay and I can select one of my built-in backdrops and she's positioned as you can see differently on all of those pictures and scaled differently on all of those pictures that's done automatically by picture me now it's not that intelligent that it knows where it will look good but we created a uh, default position for each of the backdrops now these are sample backdrops you can delete these and add your own um, just download any JPEG or use any picture that you have yourself and use that as a backdrop to put your own picture in front of and picture me it so in settings we can see where we can do that we've got a backdrop folder if we click on view it opens that folder and these are all the images that we have available Let's give you that view you can see so these are all the images that are in picture me built in and um, we can add to those easily say we want to add a new backdrop okay we can just go to a folder where we have a new one got a new backdrop folder here and in there is a picture of Big Bend and this picture I would like to use as a backdrop and I can do that simply by let me close that one dragging it and copying it or alt copying it into the folder backdrop that was opened by picture me so that's all we have to do to add a backdrop and now if I go back to picture and say okay to have picture me update all the pictures that are in there we can select Big Bend from the menu and now the girls positioned on Big Bend notice that she's not positioned ideally because she's blocking most of the nice view um, and I don't see the sign so I would prefer to have her somewhere to the left and then scaled down a little bit I can do that manually so I can just drag her here and well, scale her down a little bit until I'm happy and move her over there that would work for me uh, but it takes a bit more time and it's not completely consistent so if you want to have the picture show up there by default you can do that as well it's a bit more complicated to do but once you've done it it's it's easy so I will go back to settings open backdrop folder again and notice that the big band is just called big band.jpg that's the entire file name all of the others have uh, names with the digits and underscores so the way that works is I can position a face that I select in picture me at a certain spot and size on the backdrop by adding that to the file name of the backdrop so if I take the big band one and suppose I want to have the girl appear um, 
on a certain position. I start with a double underscore and then I add the left percentage that I want her to be on the picture size. So it's not pixels, just percentage, two digit percentage. So if I go to um, one third of the picture, that would be 33%. Then I go from top to bottom, the height where I want it to appear. Let's make that mm, 25, well no, let's make that uh, 20%. And then for the last one, separated again by an underscore, we can define the size of her face in relationship to the height of the picture. So if we do 100%, her face will cover the entire height of the picture. If we do 1%, it will get a tiny speck. So we'll do something like 7%. And I've changed it now, and I'll go back to picture again to process the changes by clicking OK updates the menu and now if I click on Big Bend then she appears where I just defined and I can adjust that until I'm happy with where she is exactly and that would be my default just like I did in all the other ones now another thing you can do you notice on some of them there's something added to the picture this is actually an, an, a layer that's uh, put on there as an overlay so if I go for instance to the Rockefeller one you can see there's a Rockefeller text over the picture so we have now a sandwich of three images the backdrop the girl and the Rockefeller text and you can add your own um, overlay files for any backdrop that you add easily as well if we want to do that we go back to the settings one we open the backdrop folder again and we open a second folder so we open a new finder window and open our <coughs> backdrops folder and notice that I have the Big Bend picture but I also have a Big Bend PNG so let me double click that to show you this is a PNG with transparency um, if you don't know how to make those Mm, you can still download a lot, a lot of frames that you could use in, in Picture Me. But if you want to know how to do it, any editing software for photography uh, can save pictures as a PNG. And PNG allows you to have the background transparent. So that means that everything that you see gray here is actually transparent. And just the star, the Texas star, will appear. Um, now, to show the effect I can drop the PNG into my file there. I'll, I'll drop it and I'll lose the original. And now I have two big bends, one PNG, one JPEG. But notice that the name is not identical. And for Picture Me to understand that you want that overlay combined with that background, you have to have the name identical. So and on this one also, I add the underscore underscore 3320. 07 and now they're named identical just one is PNG and one is JPEG go back to picture me back to the picture process it again and select Big Bend and now you see the Texas star in semi-transparent on the position where it was placed on PNG so you can go all overboard and uh, create whatever you uh, like as an overlay and make something funky like, uh, like this one where you have a lot of uh, border framing uh, done with transparency coming in and just looks like a nice creative little picture and it takes like two seconds to make. Um, if you don't like the overlay or somebody prefers to have just a picture you can switch it off final feature I will show here is uh, the blur background um, if you take a picture normally if you focus on someone's face um, then it's not likely that the backdrop will be equally sharp and detailed because it's kind of hard for your camera to focus both on your face and the backdrop especially if you're close by um, with picture me you can do that because your backdrop can be perfectly focused and your picture of picture you take with picture me can be focused as well if you want to sort of simulate the um, depth of field you can blur the background and now she's still in focus but the background is blurred making it look more realistic it's up to you if you prefer that
So if you're happy with the result, again, you can save the picture and it's added to the results one and there we are. So that's what you can do with Picture Me. In settings, the final things you can see here is uh, my camera just disappeared. If I switch it on, let me do that briefly. I'll switch it on again and then it will appear here and it will show you the pictures that I just took with my camera. If you plug in a camera after you've taken pictures somewhere else, it loads up the last file you did automatically and processes it in picture. So it's easy for you to just go somewhere, take a picture, go back to your Mac and then process it by plugging it in. But if you have it plugged in through a USB cable while you take the picture, it's transferred automatically. If you lose the files in your backdrop folders, you can add the examples and they're put back in there so you can never lose them. And um, the final thing you can do here is you can increase the size of this thumbnail so you can have a better idea of which picture you uh, prefer to use for Picture Me. And if you want to use one that you uh, done earlier, you can just select it from the list and say download and it will be processed again just like you took it. Okay, uh, notice that all the help is localized if you speak another language than English and would like your language to be added to Picture Me, uh, let us know through email uh, info at colorplaza.nl. It's listed on our website and we will try to add the language that you want. Uh, we might ask your help to get it translated, but we can do that easily. So if you're willing to help, we can add any language that you like. Also, if you see errors in translations currently in Picture Me, as I'm not fluent in six languages, um, you can make suggestions on better translations for that as well. And of course, if you like Picture Me, I would appreciate it if you could write a review on the App Store, giving it lots of stars and commenting how great you think it is, because that will help me and that will help further develop Picture Me in the future. Okay, I hope you make lots of Picture Me's. I hope you enjoy it. Well, thank you for watching and bye bye.